Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and welcome to another DIY tutorial for Ask Audio. Today we're going to learn how to make a condenser microphone circuit that costs less than $8 in the United States anyway. Um, very simple, very easy, and very quick to make. And not only that, but we're going to take the output of that condenser microphone and plug it into the amplifier circuit that we made in my last DIY tutorial for Ask Audio. So what you're looking at right now is both projects combined. So don't think, oh my God, this is really crazy. This is actually over here is the uh, circuit we're going to concentrate on today. And I highly encourage you to go make this circuit first, the amplifier circuit, which is on the left half of the breadboard here. Uh, go do that first and then come back to this uh, tutorial and put them together. This is my preferred method. I will show you how to connect the microphone to uh, you know, an eighth inch plug so you can plug it into your own amplifier and stuff like that. I'm gonna do that along the way, but this is my preferred method just because, I mean, look at it, it's beautiful. Um, so let's just go ahead and test it out. So I just have a eight ohm, four watt, no, three watt, eight ohm speaker over here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me just move this out of the way. It's right there. And I've got the microphone right here. And then I've got my gain and volume knobs on my amplifier circuit. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna put power to the amp, which is always a good idea. And then I'm gonna put power to the microphone. And when I do that, I'm actually gonna take off my lav mic that I'm using to record the audio for this tutorial and put it closer to the speaker so you can get um, a better sense of the microphone and how it's, you know, coming through and going through the circuit and coming out of the speaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and power that up. And immediately you should already hear the difference. So what I'm gonna do is take off the lav mic right now and I'm gonna put it closer to the speaker. And now I'm actually talking a little bit closer to the microphone and that should be really loud. So what I'm gonna do now is turn off the microphone uh, power. And this is my voice at regular and this is this is my voice with the microphone powered on. So you can hear that the microphone circuit is working and everything is super cool. All right, so now I have my microphone back on and everything is powered down. So let's focus on what actually is going on on this circuit. I have my microphone and it's electric electric microphone it's a condenser microphone with actually a frequency range of i believe of 30 hertz to uh 1500 hertz which is you know a pretty good range for such a small inexpensive microphone and these are actually used in a lot of places um, this everything over here is pretty much just a circuit for the power light indicator uh, we don't really need to focus on that i just have a nine volt battery uh, the electric microphone can take i think between four volts and 10 volts but each one will be a little bit different so whenever you buy it you want to just check the 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 specs on it so what i'm going to do is go ahead and remove all of this and then redo the circuit for your viewing pleasure okay so here we go i've got just my electric elect electric microphone uh the negative in one column on the breadboard and the positive on another column on the breadboard and usually the electric will come with a with two leads already in it but i didn't have that so i had to do it myself but if you need to do and also if you need to do it yourself the negative is the negative pad back here is the one with the three metal stripes that are connected to the outer co uh, case there the housing and I will put an image on the, the website so you can check that out just in case you need to do that. But usually they come pre-soldered, so you should be good. So the first thing we're going to do is actually take a 2.2 K ohm resistor and go from the power of the uh, breadboard into the column of the positive lead of the microphone. And that's that. And then we're gonna take a 0 0.0 microfarad capacitor. This is a ceramic disc capacitor. And we're gonna go from the power 
column into a new column on the breadboard. And if I just bring this a little bit closer, you can see what's happening over here. Uh, the marking on the uh, ceramic disc capacitor is 104, by the way. Again, that will be on the blog with the better written description of what's happening as well. So the next thing we need to do is ground this circuit. So in fact, I probably should have done this first. I'm kind of doing it um, out of order, but uh, we should ground the microphone. What we're doing right now is essentially powering the microphone and I'm just taking a, from the ground line to the ground of the microphone. And you can see that back there, it's on the column of the ground for the microphone. And then I just have my nine volt battery with a switch going to the corresponding rails of the bread, uh, breadboard, red for power, blue for ground. And this capacitor is actually the output capacitor for the microphone to go into the amplifier. And I, I apologize for doing that uh, one step early, but I got ahead of myself. So what we need to do now is this is where things are going to be a little bit different, depending on whether or not you're going to use the, the amplifier that we made on Ask Audio last month, or if you're going to be using your own amplifier. I'm going to be using this amplifier on the breadboard, so what I'm going to do is go from the ground again of the microphone into the ground of the amplifier circuit. So as you can see here, I've got, I should have three pins on this ground column. I should have the ground for the battery, the ground for the microphone, and the ground for the amplifier. And then what I'm gonna do with this capacitor is take that column, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and plug it in over here on the far right pin of the volume potentiometer on the amplifier. And that is it. So if I turn this on real quick, check, 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 check. Uh, we check, check, check. You can see that the uh, amplifier is in fact working with how we did it there. However, if you wanted to use a different amplifier, I would just disconnect these here. Disconnect this. And we would have something that looks like this. This is an eighth inch mono plug. Uh, microphone's gonna be mono, we only have one channel there. And you can see that I've got my ground and my power and it's the same setup. So what we're gonna do here, and I've just added some custom, uh, and as you can see, I've added some custom jumper style uh, ends to these wires, but what we would do then is take my positive or hot lead and put it with the capacitor and my negative and put it with the negative and now I can go out into my amplifier using this plug instead of having to jump wire to wire into this other amplifier. But that's how you would do that if you wanted to. And of course you turn on your amplifier and then turn on the power to the microphone. Remember, if you don't turn on that power to the microphone, the microphone will not work. So don't be surprised if you haven't turned on the power and you're not getting any sound. That's the way condenser microphones work. And that's how you make a condenser microphone circuit for less than $8. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper. This is Ask Audio. We'll see you next time.